I mean, that and look at Joe Biden just bumbling around, bumping into walls. I mean, yeah, I, I think they're just throwing it in our face. Look, look at the it. British Prime Minister, Boris Johnson. He can't even operate a hairbrush, this guy. It's it's incredible. They're just laughing in our faces. ScoMo, our whole government. Look at Daniel Andrews. I mean, it's oh, it's yeah. just they don't care. They just don't care. They just they're just doing whatever they want to do, and people are just going along with it. It's going to blow people's minds. They're not going to recognise the world. Yeah, Sister- it's going to be uncomfortable, and a lot of people are going to suffer through it. But it, unfortunately, it's gotten that far that it has to collapse. So, like I said, the best thing you can do. It's kind of insulate and um, prepare for that collapse and be in a, in a place where you'll get through and come out the other side. The best thing a leader can do is to empower their yes. students to the point that they become their own leaders. Um, you, you've got to, if you're a leader, you need to, you need to teach your people to the point that you become irrelevant. You, know, you, you want to create someone who's better than you, who can lead better than you, you know, yep. and can lead themselves because that's what it's all about. I mean, the thing is, even saying that, um, people create their own reasons why they can't. So I can't because, you know, I've got to pay the house off and I've got uh, education for my kids. And we, you can actually um, sell whatever you've got on the house. You can sell your TV and all your belongings and you could pack up a tent and you could, you could move your kids and you could take off and do whatever you want to do. That's you true. pull them out of school and just cancel that lot because that life's going to fall apart anyway. Don't think you can sit there and maintain and it's all going to go back to normal. It's not going back to normal. It's never, ever, ever, ever going back to the way it was. That's just not going to happen. So you've got to start realising that you can create your own future now. And if it ends up that you're living in a, in a tribal community, wandering around in a teepee going where the food is, well, that's the way it is. Yeah. They did that for a reason back then. you know. So maybe it's a chance for people to get in touch with their life skills again. You know, people usually create their own obstacles and they actually can do all the things that they say they can't do. Well, I'm here, I've got no money, I'm stuck in a city or whatever. You can just pack up in a backpack and you can hit the road and put your thumb out and start hitchhiking and you can go anywhere you want. You know, once yeah. you step onto that road, that path out the front of your house, you can end up anywhere in the world. That's the way it works, you know. If you throw yourself to the wind, you can mm-hmm. ride it. I've been saying that to people for years. If you are prepared to throw yourself to the wind with no stake in the outcome, you can ride the wind and it will take you to the most incredible places that you didn't ever know or suspect you were going to go. If you trust in spirit and you throw yourself to the wind, you know, the world isn't what people think it is. They think it's this little social construct and they have to do this. And they have, oh, I can't do this. And I can't do that because no, no, it's all rubbish. This, that's not what life's about. You know, you can do anything you want to do. It's just you don't believe in it, and that's what stops you because you think you've got to hang on to all these social mores which don't mean anything. They're all there to distract you from ever finding you and ever throwing yourself to the wind. It's like the guy I saw on Venice Beach who was crying, 70, 75 years old, crying his eyes out. I'm saying, what's the matter, brother? He's going, I'm sitting here realizing I could have done this 60 years ago, just sit on the beach. But I did all this other shit because I thought that's what life was about, and all I wanted to do was sit on the beach and watch the sunset. And I've missed my life, you know. Don't get to that point where you, where you think that you should have done, should have, could have, would have. I wanted to do all this shit, but I didn't. And the only reason you didn't was because you believed you couldn't, you know. And it's a program. It's a spell. Don't buy into it. You can do anything you want to do. So in the situation that, that we're in now, I mean, perhaps the universe is propelling you to a point where you realize that I actually have to just throw all this away and find myself and, and walk onto that spiritual path, you know. It's a huge moment of self-discovery if you really look at it through the right eyes. And it's a huge opportunity for human freedom if you look at it through the right eyes. You just People are so dependent on what they think life is about and so dependent upon this, this system and all these facades and structures that are around them that they think is, is social and life and reality when it's yeah. not, you know. It's disempowering. They, they believe someone will come and save them. They can't get this bad and there's nothing they can do about it. So... Um, of course, someone will come and save them. But really, there is a lot they can do about it. You look at the game of life and the, the path of life and the choices that you're given to make through this life. You know, it's like I've said, it's a soul test. And if you were not capable of your own salvation, then it could never be achieved. Because if it could be achieved, then this life would mean nothing. There'd be no reason to live it. You are the only one who is capable of saving your own soul. 
Don't wait for an external source, you know. Uh-huh. Remember also, it's all about your experience. You can do what you can to help others, but all you can really do is point them to the doorway. They have to make the choice to walk through themselves. You can't make that sole choice for them. You know, it's getting to the point now that, that rather than trying to educate people, the best way you can educate them is lead by example in what you do because it's really come down to the line now. You know, we're in the final battle here. If they don't know already, then they shouldn't be on the battlefield. You know, and you're right, we are all on the battlefield right now. I really thought I could empower people enough to prevent this situation from happening. But uh, it didn't work out so well, but uh, here we are. But perhaps just that's, that's just the way I needed to be. Well, people have got to see it in their faces. I always say people won't, won't stand up until it comes to their backyards, you know. And now it is. It's in their backyards. But unfortunately, they're still not standing up. Not quite yet. So it's got to get a bit uglier yet. Yeah.